Hey guys, Cindy Williams here, the Wanderlust CEO. I'm so excited because today I'm going to be sharing with you on the show the three things, the three flexes, the three moves, the three secrets that I used to grow my travel brands to seven figures, multiple seven figures we actually did last year. I'm going to be sharing the key things that I did that helped me get there because it, it wasn't always that, right? When we started out, we, probably a lot of you out there are like feeling that struggle or like, how do I do this? How do I put the things together? So I thought this would be a great video to kick off 2022 just to inspire you, to talk to you a little bit about my journey and what I did. And hopefully you'll get some uh, good insight and maybe some even some ideas on things that you can do in your business this year to get kicked off. So if that sounds like fun, keep on watching us. We're doing the show today, guys. <music> Guys, before I forget, don't forget to go over to YouTube, like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. We put out videos every single week, tips, tricks, training, all kinds of good stuff. And actually, I just did a huge video. Did you guys see? We just bought a house in Florida, in Disney, because speaking of growing your businesses, we are in Florida so much, we decided we should just buy a house. So definitely check out that video. It was like, I kept it under wraps and I, I released it out and it went crazy. So go check that out. I do a tour and we do some vlogging stuff too on the channel. But um, just a representation of like, man, when your business grows, you can do some cool stuff. That's probably maybe the coolest thing I've ever done in my life. And it just feels so good to share that with you guys. I hope you feel like the house is as much yours as it is mine because it was, man, labor of love to get that, that whole thing kicked off. But that's why, again, I want to put a video like this together to really kind of like talk through, like it's easy when you're at the point of you're like, yes, I'm successful and everything's working and everything's good. It's easy to like forget how hard it was at the beginning and different, the difficult choices that you had to make or like sometimes where you were stretched too thin or you were overwhelmed or you had to make a decision that felt like, oh, is this going to work out? And as I was reflecting through the holidays, I was just like, man, you know, it's kind of like that, what's that little meme that goes around? It's like how it started and how it's going. Like I literally have a photo of me, like my first day, my first fam trip, actually not my first day, but my first fam trip is somewhere in Germany. And I'm like a cute little travel agent. It's just <laughs> the funniest thing to like, just like see that journey. Right. So, and by the way, if you're new to the channel and you're like, who is this crazy lady talking to me? My name is Cindy Williams. I started in the industry almost 30 years ago now. And I work for one of the biggest travel brands in the world. Today, I own and operate my own award-winning nationally recognized travel agency, but I'm most known for being the CEO and founder of Careers on Vacation, which, which helps people just like you learn how to launch, grow, and really supersize your travel businesses all over the world. So those are um, two of my now three brands. And we're getting ready to launch another brand here around the corner, but that's another story. Um, but in order to get to like where we were today, like a lot of stuff goes into that, right? So if you're new, type a little I'm new and um, I'll welcome you to the community. I would love to do that. And also go over, if you're thinking about getting into the travel industry, grab this free class. This is your first question to me and all, I get a gazillion guys, please forgive me if I can't return all the messages. I get a bazillion messages on all the social media platforms. And the nor normally the question is, should I be a travel agent? Is it for me? because I don't know you personally, I haven't done like a consultation with you, right? That's what we work with our clients and in our bigger programs. I put this together though, to help you guys. It's totally free class. It goes through what it takes to get into the industry, how to get in an industry. Does it make sense for you personally to be in the industry and kind of asks you, asks you to help you ask you yourself those questions. Anyway, you guys get it. Go check out the class. I'll link it down below too. But, um, if you are in that place where you're like, Cindy, I really want to grow this year, right? This is the perfect, um, you know, it's a perfect time. Like it's a perfect storm, right? We had 2020, which we all know was a crap show. We never want to go back there again. Then we had 2021 where stuff started to rebound, but travel is more complicated, which created this weird mix of why consumers need travel agents so much and why our industry is absolutely exploding. So I think it's really smart if you're thinking about putting together a big growth initiative in your business this year. And it's a like timing is perfect. And I've started businesses in not perfect timing. So I can, I have a little, like I've been, I've had my businesses for over a decade now. And 
like a lot happens in a decade, right? We, we started in, uh, 08 way back with another business we had in the middle of the recession, right? It was the di most difficult of times, but somehow we still grew that business to be a monster, right? So at any rate, what I want to kind of boil down for you guys is no matter whether you're starting now, which I feel like is a really good time. If you watch last week's video, you'll, you can go through and check that out too. But the timing is really good to get into our industry. So I, I hope you're thinking about growth, but also some of you are a little gun shy, maybe because you went through 2020, maybe you put your business on hold, maybe you put your travel dreams on hold. Maybe you said, ah, hit the brakes, right? Um, I saw a lot of that happening. It was super sad because it's like, I know how much work it takes to get a business up and started. And maybe you're at that place now though, where you're like seeing all the things happening and things opening up where you're like, you know what? Maybe I can, maybe I can lean into this again. So I hope this video is going to help you. I want to go through my top three things. The number one thing that I did personally that changed the game for me is I stopped treating my business like a hobby and I started treating it like a business. And that might seem trivial or common sense, but I cannot tell you guys how many people we consult with on a weekly basis and we'll go through their goals, we'll look at their numbers, we'll look at what they're doing in their business. And a lot of times they think they're approaching it as a business, but it is completely a hobby initiative based on how they're marketing, how they put things together. And listen, no one is born with this knowledge, so there's no judgment wherever you are in your business. It's about self-reflection and saying, what do I need to do to get there? And I, the funny, the crazy part is guys, like I started in the industry, like I said, almost 30 years ago, I was like a natural salesperson. So I started working for one of the biggest travel brands in the world. My first year I sold a million dollars. Like it was just easy. Like I was like, I just assumed everyone wanted to book the trip and I was taking credit cards all day long. Only about, you know, seven or eight people out of 300 agents in at that time, keep in mind, this was way back in the early nineties, um, would hit that achievement of selling a million dollars because a million dollars today you can sell faster than a million dollars back in the nineties, right? Cause trips were less expensive. Right. But the point being is, um, it came, that part of it came to me naturally. Right. But learning how to run a business, learning how to market, learning how to automate, learning how to do all the things that you need to do to be relevant in this online space. It's a whole nother animal. Right, like when I started in the industry, it was like you went to travel school, right? Like careers on vacation is more of like a modern day travel school. But back then it was like, you had to learn on something called a GDS system, which is stands for global distribution system. And there were different ones that you had to learn on. And each agency would subscribe to one. You had to learn codes and formats and that, and almost everybody had to go to a travel agent to book their vacations, right? <coughs> Excuse me, oh my goodness. A little January cold going on here. but. Um, you didn't, you never learned when you work for another company, they don't teach you how to run your own agency. They don't teach you all of those things that you have to learn through like all the difficult mistakes I had to make, all of the journeys that I had, all of those things. But the point being is I was really great. I had good, good business sense. And I had, I was a natural salesperson from the beginning. My husband and I in early like 2008, 2009, we purchased another business and I had my agency set up at this time. But I was doing it more like I still had a corporate job and then I was running my agency on the side and growing it like a lot of you guys might be right now. You might be starting it out and you're kind of doing it as a part-time effort is what I would call it. And then we bought this other business. I'm like, oh yeah, this seems amazing. And we put all this effort into it. Of course it was successful. We grew that from being zero business to being the biggest of its kind in Texas and the, the top six or seventh in the entire country of the type of business that that was in the recession, right? But then it occurred to me right down the road, and I'll tell you a story here in a second, but it occurred to me like, why am I not applying the same effort, the same money, the same tactics, the same diligence with my travel business? I'm still doing it more like grassroots effort and like, you know, kind of DIY style. And what I started to do was get really smart about allowing myself the space to do bigger things with my business, treating it like a real business, putting a real marketing plan together, putting a marketing plan of committing to spending a certain amount of money every year on my marketing efforts, committing to doing automation, committing to learning more about how to be relevant in the online space. 
So do you see how that feels different instead of let's see how it goes approach, putting together a real business plan and a real strategy for growing and oh, no surprise, it started to grow, right? And so that was kind of a wake up call for me just as like a reminder, like, duh, why are you not doing this thing, right? So that's number one, treating your business like a business. If you're ready to get out of hobby mode, and into business mode. If you treat your business like a hobby, it will pay you like a hobby. If you treat it like a business, it will pay you like a business. That's a beautiful thing. And and I can tell you guys, because we have stats on this, right? Like our students going through our Careers on Vacation program, they are booking, most of them are booking before they even get out of class. It's crazy. Like that's how fast it's happening for so many new agents because that's how wild the marketplace is right now. So that's a good sign. That's a good indicator that our market is strong and and we all know that we the world needs more certified travel agents. So that's a good thing. Um, number two, I don't have my glasses on and I made, made these notes. Let's see. What does this say? Oh, comfortable. I love my abbreviations. I got comfortable being uncomfortable. Yes, I had it written a different way when I first wrote that. I always like to say, and I'm sure you've heard this quote somewhere. I don't know who said it. This is, did not originate with me. But I heard this great quote that said, everything good exists two feet outside of your comfort zone. And I love that because in order to like grow and really like channel and be in like an industry like like game changer and do something like create a, another lane for yourself, like uh, you know, we have one travel brand, which is our agency. And then we also have careers on vacation, which has just kind of revolutionized how people are educating themselves in our industry. It's just been phenomenal to watch it all unfold. But careers on vacation was a dream inside my head for 20 years before I acted on it. And when I got comfortable with allowing myself the space to be uncomfortable, that's where all my growth happened. All of your growth happens in the hard spaces. Right, you guys heard me, I've kept saying this quote during the fall time, I'm saying it again because I just love it so much. You can either be in the uncomfortableness of a life that you don't love or you can be in the uncomfortable space of growth. They're both uncomfortable, right? So pick one. So I allowed myself to get, to feel that anxiety and work through it, to feel the fear and do it anyway, to do the stuff I knew I needed to do to make my business grow, even though it cost money, even though it felt scary, even though I didn't know what I was doing a lot of times. And I also allowed myself the grace to fail because not everything is a win, right? That's why I created Careers on Vacation because I'm like, whoa, I can help people skip over all these failures because I already freaking did all of this stuff. I already know all the ways to do it wrong and I figured out how to do it right, right? But that's the thing, guys. It's like you have to be willing to allow yourself the space to fail. It's okay. Fail. Failure is not your enemy. Fear, right? Fear is what's stopping you in your tracks. Yeah, You got your F words mixed up here. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Fear. Wait, fear or failure? Yep. So failure is not a bad thing. As soon as I would make a failure, I would go, okay, that didn't work. Let me figure out how to do it better right? Let me figure out how, who else do I need to talk to? What else do I need to learn? What else do I need to do? And that's how I, I started to grow. So allowing myself, getting comfortable with being uncomfortable, that's number two. It really is because grow, being able, like they always say fortune favors the bold, right? And that is so true because it's like one of those things where like, give yourself the space to be uncomfortable because growth is not comfortable. You have to stretch yourself. You have to challenge yourself. You have to do all those things. So that's my number two. Um, my number three thing that I did is I actually started hiring experts in the things that I lacked. So through my 28, 29 year career, if I got stuck on something, right, when I got to a place, so I, for many years, I just did the DIY stuff, which a lot of you guys are doing out there. I know because we talk to you guys all the time, but I got to a place where I was like, this just isn't working. Like I'm only growing to this scale. And I grew a freaking you know, business in the middle of the recession up to multiple six figures. Why can't I figure this thing out? So when I started challenging myself in that area, I said, well, I'm going to do the same thing I did with that other business. And I'm going to find the, the best person that does this and the best person that does this. And I'm going to start to put these pieces together. And I mean, guys, I'm, I'm talking so much money, so much time. So we hired some bad people. We hired some great people. Um, all of our most amazing people are still on our team today, which is a beautiful thing. And that's, that's really cool. But the point is I allowed myself the 
the resources. I said, we're going to, we're going to reinvest some money. Sometimes we didn't take a paycheck from our travel business because we had to hire the next person to help us with something because I had a vision on how I wanted to automate, how I needed to grow, how I needed to market. And I will tell you right now, our industry, the home-based agent is not great at marketing. I know because I work with hundreds and hundreds of you guys a year, right? And why would you be? No one has ever taught you guys this stuff, right? And it's one of those things where it's like, do I hire this Facebook person or do I hire this person or do I hire this person? But then they don't know our industry. And so I had to work through a lot of gaps with like, they don't understand the industry. What's my play on this social media platform? What do I do here? What do I do here? Anyway, hours and hours and hours and years and years kind of getting that into the well-oiled machine that it is today. But I could only have done that if I worked with the right people, the right collection of people. So whether you, whatever business you're starting, whether you're starting a plumbing business, a florist business or whatever, you can always gain great insight from experts. You just have to vet them really well. I always say, look, if you are looking for a coach, a mentor, an expert, find someone who's doing exactly what you want to do, but in the biggest way possible right? So like in my world, people who want to become travel agents, they want to grow their travel businesses. We model that. And that's why we have our programs, of course. But if you don't resonate with me, that's fine. Go find whatever program works for you. I want success for you at the end of the day, no matter what. But when I was looking for those people, I would say, oh, I want to do what they're doing, but in the space of travel. And that's how That's how our company, Careers on Vacation, came together because we have a collection and a team that works together and now we just show our clients how to do what we do in our agency, which is really cool. But the point of the journey is I had to be willing to pay people real money because people who know what they're doing are not cheap, you guys. They're just not because (laughs) they don't have to be. They have the information. They have the knowledge. And if someone can teach you something, it's going to change your business and help you bring in potentially an extra $100,000 next year, is it worth spending whatever you have to spend to do that? As long as it's not over $100,000 or whatever, right? You have to do your ROI, your return on investment, right? I'll give you an example. One mentor that I hired early on, it was the, it was the most expensive coach I ever hired. And I had to pay, I had to, it was $7,000. I had to put it on two credit cards because I didn't even have enough money to put on one credit card at the time. And I I didn't even tell my husband. We talk about everything. So it was really like, I got to make sure. Like I was so confident that hiring this person was going to work. And I was right. The good news is I was right. And I went through that process and they were not in our industry. So they weren't in travel. But I just knew that that kind of modifying what this person had put out there in the world and adapting it over to travel. I just knew it was going to work for what I what a goal was that I had. And you guys, the next year, my income tripled. It tripled. So that $7,000 was like nothing to me, right? And that sounds crazy because I also feel like as women, for those of you moms out there and wives and daughters and all the things, we all, we never spend money on business because we feel like it's a luxury or it's like a whatever and that our stuff comes last. I you have to flip the script on that crap. You really do. Because if you want to be a real CEO and you want to really kind of change the game, you have to recognize you're not buying a nice car. You're not buying a fancy purse. You're not buying even a nice vacation, right? If you're going to hire someone that can help you get to the next level, what is that going to do for your bottom line? And then guess what? You're going to be able to buy whatever you want, whatever vacation you want. You're going to be able to take your kids wherever they want to go and all of the things, right? So those are the three things, guys. Like just to recap, treat your business like a business, not a hobby. Get comfortable being uncomfortable and hire real people that know what they're doing to get you to the next level after you identify what your gaps are, right? If growing your travel business is what your jam is and I'm resonating with you, consider careers on vacation. This is what we do, guys. You get to work with my team that I've trained up and adapted to our industry And instead of having to pay a million different people giant sums of money, when you work in one mastermind environment, you get access to my branding expert, you get access to our Facebook and social media person, you get access to our mindset person, all of the things, and you get to work with me. I mean, if you want, if you really want to do all the fun stuff, but it's a, it's a beautiful journey. If that is a match for you, the way that you can get started with that is go to careersonvacation.com slash ready now. And just apply for a discovery call. I want to learn what your goals are. That's the first step. If it's not a match to work together, 
my team will send you uh, where you need to go to find what a, a potential match could be for you. But if it is a match to work together, we will tell you about our careers on vacation program. This is our 12 week mastermind. You guys, if you've been following the channel for a while, you already know we have 150 plus case studies, case studies, not reviews of uh, how our program has helped people transform their lives and start their travel businesses. And the biggest part of that is you get to work with my team. You get to skip over all those mistakes and not do all of that, you know, hire one person to figure out how to skip past that stuff and then work with people who know what they're doing. And we are asked to affiliate it as well. And also this program is a certified program, meaning you get a certification as a travel agent when you are done, which is something you can show off in today's marketplace, which is really cool because although consumers are, you know, flocking to look for a great travel agent to work with, they are looking for who is confident, who is knowledgeable, who has a certification is a great way to really pull out that expert positioning. So guys, whether you're gonna work with me or not, listen, I wish you so much success going into the new year. I wish you so much love, so much abundance. I wish you the world. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give me a comment below. <clears throat> We're building out all of our content for this year right now. And man, I want to hear what you guys want to hear from us over on the YouTube channel. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell again over on YouTube. And if you didn't check out that video of, of the house reveal, man, check it out. It's super cool. All right, guys. Thank you so much for uh, following along today. I will see you on the next one. Love you guys. Bye. Hey guys, Cindy Williams here. If you like that last video, make sure you check out all of the other content on our channel. And if you want to follow along and travel with me around the world and see how I run my amazing travel brands and get some great tips on how to grow your own, make sure you check out that other content. I'm going to drop a couple videos here. Click those links. I'll see you next time. Bye guys. She's calling me.